All right, so today we're gonna to be doing the rest of the rotating assembly with assembly of the pistons to the rods and then installing these, installing the rings onto the pistons and then installing them into the block. These are, I have a couple of these that are already partially assembled. The direction and the orientation of the rods To the pistons and the pistons to the cylinder is very important. The long end of these rods goes towards the intake side and I've seen a lot of people on social media or forums not understand what it means by long end of the rod. So if you look at a rod, this side is, the lo is longer than this side. So this is the long side, so this is the side that they're talking about when they say the long side of the rod goes toward the intake side. Now these pistons came from a machine shop that coated them and they were kind enough to mark front or F with a metal stamp on these, but if you do not have that on your pistons or it's not a common specific, these were shaved down a little bit for clearance purposes because these are 12 valve rods. Normally these would be marked on the top of the surface because they are Cummins pistons of which way is forward and backwards. But if for some reason your pistons do not, there's a little notch in the skirt right here. And that is for your piston cooling nozzles, which is the opposite side of the engine. If you look at it upside down, it is the opposite side of the engine as the intake. So the notch on your piston skirt is opposite to the long side of your rod. That being said, make sure you have these assembled right. I'm trying to keep these as clean as possible and keeping them out and organized and making sure that they are all done correctly because if you fuck this up, there's a possibility that the connecting rod could contact your block if you don't have this right. I'm using assembly lube. This is engine assembly lube and this is what I'm using. Alright guys, again, it is controversial on the direction that these rods are supposed to face in the block. The majority of the manuals that I found, including Cummins and diesel laptops, say that on ISB engines, it needs to be facing the intake side on the 5.9s, the 6.7 is the opposite. But if, depending on whether or not you use Mopar manuals or Cummins manuals, it can say the other way and it doesn't actually matter. What matters is the orientation of the piston into the cylinder make sure you have that right that is not controversial that only goes in one way now when you assemble these please make sure you're using adequate lubrication on these assembly lube engine oil whatever you choose to use i'll kind of show you a close-up here of this this is how i do them put the snap ring in the one side make sure these are seated and i will be posting a picture at the end of this video of a properly seated snap ring you have to make sure these are seated properly and if they don't you need to make sure they do uh, the wrist pin should slide in by hand, guys. By hand. And there you go, guys. That's what the seated snap rings look like. Just make sure both sides look like this, and you should be good to go, and you're ready for installing the rings.